Where History is Alive Volume 2 contains 18 more segments telling the stories of Marshall, Michigan through its historical markers and monuments. Each segment features someone who currently lives or works in the Marshall area explaining a connection with the subject of the marker or monument. There is also a special feature with James Craycraft portraying the Reverend Montgomery Schuyler delivering the 1864 dedication sermon at Trinity Episcopal Church. This video project again draws on the resources of the Marshall Historical Society and includes the involvement of its board members. Hello, I'm Suzanne Parrott Fritz, Marshall Historical Society board member, as well as a member of Trinity Episcopal Church. When asked to do the marker video for Trinity, I couldn't help but remember my father, Manlius Mann Parrott Jr., and the wealth of church history he shared with us as children. First, telling us how the parish was organized 180 years ago in 1836, how services were first held in a log schoolhouse, that the first church building was constructed at the southeast corner of Eagle and Green Streets in 1837. This church was constructed as the third building of Trinity of native sandstone with the Victorian interior. The approximate cost was $10,000. Lots of money for that time. The architect was Gordon Lloyd of Detroit and the builder was Nathan Benedict, a local Marshall builder. And if you go into the church, you'll notice the plaque on the west wall of the sanctuary memorializing the efforts of Nathan Benedict as the builder. My father would lastly point out the four pretty colored stained glass windows given to the church by our family members long ago. Reading the names to us, he would explain who Manlius Mann was and how he was related to George Parrott, which was window two, and how he was related to George Reuben Parrott, which was window three, and Manlius Mann Parrott, who was my grandfather, and he, my father, was Manlius Mann Parrott Jr. That took us from the 1800s to about 1972. It was a wonderful way to understand the role our family and the church has played in the history of Marshall and Marshall today. Least we forget our home tour, which is held on the Saturday after Labor Day, was evolved from the kitchen tour started by church guild members in the 1950s. We know it as the Marshall Historic Home Tour, and we invite you to join us on that September weekend for the celebration.